Hello everyone, it's Apple Mint and welcome back to my channel. As always, I post a new video every Friday. For today's video, I'm going to be doing the much requested tutorial on how I draw a body. But before I get into that, I just want to show you guys an awesome app. So this video is sponsored by the app Amino. Thank you very much for your support. Amino is the very best place to connect with people who share your interests and they've got a community for every interest you can imagine. I've been using the Art Amino for a while now and I've had a lot of fun with it. It's really cool. They've got a section right on the front page for featured artists. So if you're lucky, you can get your artwork up there. They've also got a bunch of different chat rooms on different activities and topics and it's really easy to jump in and chat. And they've got some different activities within the app, such as polls, questions. So check it out, guys, and you can find me on Amino at Apple Mint, same as it's spelled here on my YouTube channel. So this tutorial has been requested so many times by so many different people, and I wanted to do it. I, I, held, I wanted to hold off on it because I never felt that I was, I guess, good enough to do a tutorial because I know that I'm not perfect with anatomy. However, uh, this video serves the purpose of showing you guys how I draw and my thought processes when I go about drawing bodies. So as you can see here, I drew a quick how not to do it. So very boxy, very uh, weird proportions. Um, so this is going to be a really quick showing of what to do in comparison of what not to do and then I will get into much more detail. Uh, basically, when I draw, I start with the circle for the head and uh, that's always the first thing that I draw. I never draw clothing on my people from the start. I normally always sketch naked, if you want to call it that, but <laughs> I sketch the shape of the body first. So typically when I draw the body, I will either break it up into segments to make it easier for myself depending on the pose, or I will kind of draw a line down the center uh, depending on the curvature of the body that I want. So for this quick sketch, I just drew a line straight down the center because it's just a straight standing body, nothing, no, no fancy pose for this. Um, and there are many different ways and poses to, uh, poses that you can draw and it, you can't, you know, it's hard to teach them all, but um, if you have a basic understanding of human anatomy, that really helps. So what I used to do when I was learning how to draw was, I would find tutorials on DeviantArt or on uh, Google, wherever I could find, YouTube, and I would see how to draw anatomy and the basics of how to look at drawing a body. So once you know the basics and the shapes and how to go about it, you can pretty much draw any pose. Uh, of course, you can use a reference if needed. So I'll walk you through how I go about drawing a body. Uh, step by step. So I start off with the circle for the head and I make a line right down the center and somewhere in the middle of the head, wherever the eyes are going to fall. Uh, that helps me to see, kind, kind of shape out, you know, where I want it, want, where I want the head to be, I guess, in terms of the page, because it's really important. Normally I will center the head uh, about on one third down the page. And this helps so that I know that I sh would be able to fit at least most, if not all, of the body on the page. Uh, if you draw it way too low down, you'll, you're will you not gonna fit it. <laughs> you're probably gonna have your drawing going off the page and that's not fun. So one third down the page is usually a good place to put it for proportional reasons. After that, uh, this is, I'm drawing it in a way that I haven't drawn it in a long time, just to break it down for you guys and show you the shapes. But normally I would break the body down into three different shapes, one for the chest area, one for the waist, and one for the hips. Uh, and then you can just kind of connect them from there. Um, I usually don't make the chest too dramatic uh, and I like to kind of draw curvy hips. That's just my style, but of course those things can be adjusted as you go. So after I draw the head, I go through the torso and the hips and I'll usually do the legs next. So here you can see me sketching the thighs and thighs are pretty simple. They are pretty uh, curvy and are thicker than the bottom part of, their, of the legs. So once you get to the bottom, uh, nothing is completely straight on the human body. <laughs> Everything's got a curve. So as you can see with the legs, they kind of curve outward a bit on each side, ever so slightly. Uh, and that's about where the knees will meet with the bottom of the leg, right in the center there. 
And then at the bottom, um, when I'm sketching feet, you know, uh, it's just kind of a little stump until I decide what kind of shoe I want to put and add more detail. Moving up to the shoulders, I don't like to make it too boxy. So uh, I'll add some curve to the shoulders. And then, um, of course, like as I said with the legs, the arms are not completely straight. There's always a curvature. So as you can see, the arms kind of have a curve on the outside and on the inside. Um, you can use your own arm for reference. That's what I usually do. If I'm drawing hands and arms or whatever, uh, I'll look at my own body for reference a lot of the time if I can't find a good pose or also it's just right there. It's easy. Hands are the scariest part and the part that everybody likes to avoid. And I am not an expert with hands, but uh, later in this video, you will see uh, a simple method for learning how to draw hands. So I will show you that in a bit. But those are about the basics of sketching out a body. It's a bit hard to explain, but um, I'm gonna try, I'm gonna continue trying my best. So to get into a little bit more detail here, for the torso, uh, first what you don't want is sharp angles and harsh lines. The human body, as I said, has curves, not harsh lines. So you want to make sure that you, uh, you know, keep the curves going. Don't get too angular. Maybe when you're sketching you can do that, but try to keep it curvy. <laughs> Then moving on to the arm, uh, I kind of tried to show you guys what not to do. A lot of people tend to make the mistake of just drawing a straight stick lines for arms and you don't want to do that. As you can see me uh, making curves for the arms, uh, they kind of curve inward toward the elbow and then curve back outward and then inward again toward the hand. So think about the arm like that, uh, the, med the joints are the elbow and the wrist. So usually where there's a joint, there will be a curve. And then lastly for legs, the same issue usually happens. Uh, many people will draw straight legs, straight sticks, not really leave an area to signify that there's a knee. So what you want to do is make the at the knee, again it curves right back out and that's your calf there and uh, that it looks much more like a leg than if you were to draw it just as straight lines. Now I feel really bad for this clip of me drawing hands. I, I thought it was filming the entire time and it wasn't, so I tried to show the process of how I went about uh, doing them. So I'm in red sketching out the base of how to go about drawing a normal hand. <laughs> so basically I draw some kind of like rectangular square shape and that's about, that's, a, that's the palm. That's where I want the palm to lay. And on the side of the hand is the joint for where the thumb will connect to the hand. So roughly I'll kind of draw a circle in there and like a little stump for the thumb. And then the way the hand is shaped, uh, it's different for everyone, but typically for girls, the ring finger and the pointer finger will be about the same. And the middle finger is the longest with the pinky being the shortest. So kind of fit following that shape, uh, if you keep those ideas in mind, it's easy to find the shape of the hand that you want and then you can add fingers in. Of course there are a million different poses for hands and I don't know how to draw all of them even knowing these guidelines so references definitely help for the little nuances of drawing hands. But overall uh, the basic shape is easy to follow if you follow these guidelines. So I hope my brief tutorial of how I draw bodies helped you guys in some way. I know it wasn't super, super in-depth and maybe not 100% anatomically correct, but it's just the way that I go about doing it and some of the things I think about when I'm creating poses and uh, drawing the human body. So uh, if this helped you guys, please let me know in the comments below and also let me know what you have the most trouble with drawing. So if you like this video, please take a second to subscribe and you can find all of my links to my other social media in the description below. Thank you for watching. So until next time, I hope you guys all have a beautiful day and I will see you in my next video. Bye.